Yeah. Hello. Hmm? Hi, Kay. Anyway. Are we on YouTube yet? Hi, <laughs> Tamara. Dana. Um, yeah, I'm Trinity. Fly, Welcome to our small Denise. corner of the world. Our small corner of the world where it's lovely now that it's not 175 degrees. Oh, wait. We Are shouldn't we on be YouTube complaining. Yet? Yep. We Hello! So, if you are watching us for the first time later on YouTube and you say, What? Why does it take an hour to make snickerdoodles? Don't say that because it only takes like 10 or 15 minutes. But we are just so popular that everyone wants to chit chat with us. <laughs> okay, not really. People keep on We just have a lot comments. to say because, you know, we just talk a lot. And so, we, after our shows, we need to After we're done to. baking or cooking or whatever it is that we're making today, then we chit chat. So this is a live stream podcast. Really is what it is. Yeah, that's what we is. should name them. We should name them. I live think stream we podcasts. need to start adding podcasts at the end of our titles. And if you're watching this later, if you get if you come on when it's live, you can ask your own questions and interact. <gasps> and we actually answer them. <laughs> Yay! So, Dave, I think you should add podcast to the end of that. You want me to? All right. So today, hello everyone. So Jonathan says he's me. watching while he's camping. He says great Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, there's something wrong with that picture. You're not supposed to be using Wi-Fi camping. Although we're very glad to have you. That's dedication. <laughs> yes. My word, that's de dedication. Mary Good is wondering grief. what are we making today? I am making all kinds of things today. Lots of people See, are excited I have about... all kinds of things prepared here. The first thing I am making is our snickerdoodles. And then I'm making coleslaw. And then I'm making cinnamon and sugar and seasoned salt and roasted potatoes and fajita chickens. Ooh, Ooh you said yeah. the magic word. I just did it all. Okay, so she dining. She to save her snickerdoodle. She has never had one. You've never had one? Oh, you'll love it. Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 357. Jamie and I are going garage selling tomorrow, maybe. Woohoo! Well, if she's filling up to it. I just shared the recipe link, and I'm about to share the book. Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 357. Now, this is the gift in a basket mix. Guys, don't freak out. Just start down here, and you can read the directions and just walk your way through. So you'll start with this and then you'll go up here if you're just making it, okay? Not hard. Don't wanna freak anybody out. Now, I am using, oh, okay. <laughs> there was something weird in my shortening. Oh, Tita says greetings from Chile. Oh my, Chile, that's cool. Okay, so to measure shortening, take a one cup measure or two cup measure and fill it with one cup of water because I need one cup of shortening. And then you put your shortening in, whoops, without splashing water all over. <laughs> and you stuff your shortening down until the water line gets to one cup, okay? Uh, wow. Okay, so mine is just ever so slightly over one cup, which is fine, or two cups. So did you guys get how I did that? I put my water here, I added my shortening, got it to two cups, and now I know I have one cup of shortening. All right. That's the professional way to measure shortening. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. It's like a big slop noise when you dropped it in there. Like All right, slop. so that's done. Now, you can use butter if you would prefer, but a butter makes a flatter cookie. Shortening makes a fluffy cookie. So I'm just going to beat this up just a little bit. Alright. Kathy asked, can I use butter shortening instead? Yes, you can. Was that just the shortening? That adds a delicious flavor. And if you just have plain shortening and you have butter flavoring, you could add that too, or you could use half shortening, half butter. You could use margarine, whatever you'd like. Okay, so I put my butter in, or shortening in my case. And next, I am doing my eggs. 
Ta-da. Okay. Wow. Everybody's here. Yay. There's a lot of people here. So, oh, here we go. <laughs> That's nice and smooth lovely now I'm adding my flour How much flour is that? it's in the recipe on our website you can go get it Mike will leave the link I forgot to say that my salt I just kind of guess on the salt guys so don't here's the link again guys And then, oops, I forgot my measuring spoon. Well, this will just be an interesting thing of cookies now, won't it? Um, wait, what is that? And then I'm putting in my cream of tartar, Ooh. salt, cream of tartar, my baking soda. I go small. <laughs> I'm kidding. My regular baking soda, one of the kids walked off with. She only gets the large. She doesn't get the extra, extra large. Like, she don't need that. <laughs> and... You know, when I was a kid, I wouldn't eat snickerdoodles because I didn't like peanut butter, and I thought that they had peanuts in them. <laughs> because I thought it was related to, like, Snickers. Uh, no. Poor Michael. He missed out on wonderful luxury of life. Okay, and I forgot to tell you, 400 for the oven. What? Well, you'll have to wait, Jack. Okay, and then sugar. Okay, lovely sugar there. And then just mix this all together. and take your spoon or your spatula or whatever and you're going to we have a very special birthday today we do well and we have a request for a song for another special birthday too uh -oh. but, but we have a special one definitely we have a very special birthday today i don't think i need that anymore okay so then we have two very oops. special <clears throat> I forgot my pan. Sing them later. Mm. All right, don't look at my nasty baking pan. I need to get a new one. I know. So Angela said I help make I help make these cookies with my granny on Christmas. Oh, now That's that awesome, is special. Angela. <laughs> See a good memory. It's a good memory with granny. Okay, so in your little bowl here pour your cinnamon sugar mixture and i keep my cinnamon sugar pre-mixed in here okay uh, so asking right there vanilla. no i don't put vanilla in mine okay but if you want to i guess you can but i don't okay now the recipe says to do quarter size balls i do about golf ball because you know who in the world wants a quarter sized Okay, so then you just roll it all like that, stick it on your pan. 
who knows is asking are is snick are snoodle snickerdoodles german i think um, they are i think so hmm. and so you just wrap them or roll them like this and you want them about two inches apart because they'll spread Ow. um and you can make them as big or as little as you want it'll just change the cooking time a little bit and So guess what I was working on today? What? Next week's show. You want to know what it is? What? Can you wait, believe? Whoa, whoa. You were working on it today? <laughs> you were more than two hours ahead. Can you believe that? Yes. Everybody give me a thumbs up. Can you <laughs> believe that? But guess what it is? Jamie will, Jamie's not even here to celebrate. Oh, yeah, she is. What, what is Jamie it? Jamie would be proud of me. How to feed your family of six for $150 for a month. What? 150? Like, are you, are you feeding them three meals a day? <laughs> and snacks. Whoa. I know. Whoa, that's extra. I took brutal. this week's sales ads and I put it together. And that's going to be next week's show. That's awesome. Didn't I do good? I did good. And it's not all ramen noodles and macaroni and cheese. Awesome. Connie loves your apron. Thank you. I wore this today in honor of our special birthday. Because oh. someone made it for me that was special, so I thought I should wear it in celebration. <laughs> it's not my birthday. Uh, Amy, Amy T says, our shortening comes in a hard block, so you have to measure it by weight and then melt it. So I'm trying to work out how to whip it. She's in Australia. I wonder if your shortening's the same thing. Well, that's a little big. I think I'm gonna... I don't trust them. Okay, so now we're gonna put them in the oven and bake them for about 10 minutes. Oh, good grief. <gasps> Whoa, Carrie says hello from Columbus, Ohio. I love you guys, been following for 12 years. Whoa, thank wow. you. Now, what I do... Hey, where'd you go? Jamie wants you to save her one. I was fixing something for Jack! Put the camera down so I can show him something here. So I get tired of getting my hands all dirty and then redoing them and all that. So what I do while the other ones are baking is I go ahead and make up the rest of them. And I just put them in the bowl and then I just gently set them on the baking tray when I'm done. So then I'm not getting my hands dirty, washing them, getting my hands dirty, washing them, getting my hands dirty, washing them. And all that. So, <laughs> so people are wondering. Some people are wondering whose birthday it is, and others are communicating it with each other because uh, some people know it's a special day. Let me say, if this day did not happen, this show would not happen. Wow. You know. It's profound. <laughs> is that? <laughs> what does what? Is yeah, that I'll profound? Google. I'll oh, more Joanne wanted to know, is that a reusable baking pan or, or a parchment? Oh, um, it's a Silpat. Mike, can you look up Silpat and put a link for them? Sure. Um, I love my Silpat. Mom hates Silpat. I love it. Mom uses parchment paper that she just reuses, which is fine also. You can do it however you want. Um, just that one? Yeah. Okay. I love mine. I've used it for about probably 10 years now. And I think it's great, but if you want to just use parchment paper, you can. The only thing about Silpat is you can't cut on it because it will cut. So if you, you know, these are getting larger as I go along. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some huge cookies. These are supposed to make several dozen, but <laughs> I... Don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, you can see all the um, small ones at the bottom. I, know. And it gets <laughs> um, I am not a cookie maker. I will be honest to say I hate making cookies. I'll make a cake or brownies or non, uh, bar nice. cookies before I make cookies. What is a silk hat? Well, it's not a baking sheet. It's a. It's a fiberglass baking sheet. Oh, it's a baking sheet. Yeah. It's not a baking sheet. Okay. Covers. So now they're all done, and then when you can lift it up, babe. 
Then when I go to put them on the tray, my hands will have to keep getting dirty. All right, sorry guys, I was a little slow on the uptake, but I'm sharing I'm the silk hat link now. now. Okay, so now... You're pretty much done, right? I'm done with the cookies, but I was going to show you guys a couple of other things real quick here. Um, first of all, if you guys want to see how I do my cinnamon and sugar. See, it's conveniently out. See, I keep it in this great big thing. I did get this at Costco or Walmart or uh, probably Walmart. I know I didn't get that at Costco. So what I do is I pour in my cinnamon. Usually I do this I'm over sure. the kitchen sink so I don't dump sugar all over the place. And this big jar lasts us a few months. I mean, don't think we go through this like every week or anything like that. We don't. It lasts us a few months. Then I take my, yeah, okay. Then I take my cinnamon. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's not ginger. Yeah, I thought it was, well, it was looked darker for some reason. So Barbara's asking for a refresher on what we're doing today. So I'm making snickerdoodles that I just put in the oven and I just completely forgot to set the timer. Great, somebody please remind me to check them in like five minutes. So then what I do, see how I layer it in there? Oops, wrong thing. Then close the top securely, securely. And then I just shake. <laughs> shake it like maraca. You can see all your, oh man, I forgot. Get all your exercise. Okay, so then, oh dear. I think I put too much cinnamon in this time. Oh, great. Ew, oh, now we have a problem. I'm pretty sure I put in too much cinnamon. Did I? Oh, no. Okay, so the center just got... Sugar was Normally, sugar. actually, I did this wrong. Normally, I only filled about three quarters full, and I filled this about seven eighths full. So, <laughs> normally, I don't fill it quite that full. So that's where I messed up. It's but easier to mix when there it's... you go, fresh cinnamon. And, and then, when the kids want cinnamon toast, they can make their own. Mm. It's all made. You don't have a mess all over the place. Now, next, I have over here. Wait, Jeannie wants to know, do Dave and Jack like snickerdoodles? They, they do, have right? never eaten them. What? I have never made these for my family. I'm sorry. I've eaten them. You've yeah, but them. not since we've had kids. Mm, I've never made, made them like last year. No, I didn't. Or maybe Ellie made them. Somebody made them last year. I don't think so. I think it was something else. Um, so I don't know if they like them. We'll find out today. Yes? I have a question. Um, Heather Fowler says, family of six trying to avoid eating out this evening. Any suggestions? We get tired of bringing sandwiches. We are out of everything anyway and have to go buy stuff at Walmart or a grocery store. Well, what do you have? I mean, make sloppy joes are really fast and easy. You'd have to pass that. You can make pancakes. Uh, let's see. What other ideas do I have in here? You can make tacos. Those would all take 15 minutes to do. Don't make cheeseburger rolls. You could make, um, grilled cheese sandwiches. You could make waffles. You could make macaroni and cheese. You could make, if you want to cook longer, you could make Mexican chicken or maple glazed chicken. Cheese enchiladas, all those take about 15 minutes to prepare. They take a little bit longer to cook. Ah, uh, so I'm not the only one. Cherry what? says, I always thought they were made with Snicker, Snickers bars. Are they? No. No, they're not. They are not. I, I used to you... think that when I was a little kid. And... They were made before Snicker bars. Okay, so now I have my country fried potatoes over here. Can I see these, Dave? I'll show you in And I ran out of my seasoned salt that I used. So what I do is I add... Oh, Mike, can you go find the 10 homemade seasonings? So I add my salt, and then I add my pepper. The one on the website and in the book, this, this recipe is in the book and on the website, calls for paprika. I don't put that in my seasoned salt all the time. Then I add my garlic powder, and then I add my onion powder. Ooh, garlic. And then... Oh, I love garlic. I put on the lid and I just shake it around. Like a maraca. I seriously, guys, 
30 seconds and I just made about 10 cents worth of seasoned salt compared to 350 at the store. I'm sharing I think I need a thumbs up for that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm sharing the link to the recipes. Which one is it? The seasoned salt the, that's in there? The 10 homemade seasoned salts. Yeah. So then I usually top it off with salt and then shake it some more, leave a little bit in there, it's and just get it hamburgers. going all around. I use this on hamburgers, chicken. chicken. See? They're loving me. Thanks, everyone. So then for my um, country fried potatoes, can they see what I'm doing down here, Dave? Kind of. I would, yeah. So Danielle says, I, I made these. I just made these cookies from your cookbook last week. Amazing. Yum. So I pour oil on. And then I sprinkle, sprinkle season salt. <laughs> then I sprinkle paprika. And if you want, you can put parsley, although I don't think I have any. Do I have parsley? Uh, oh, Kathleen wanted to know, did we set the timer? No, I forgot it. Oh, wait, right now is when it's five minutes later. Connie says grilled cheese is so easy. I'm almost Actually, there. Sounds, They're almost ready. That sounds okay, good. so then you just take, and can they see how I do this? And just mush it all together. And since it's only 70 degrees in Colorado here today, that's why I'm baking. Normally in the summer, oh, that one's kind of big. Oh, well. Normally in the summer, I don't she never use makes. the oven much. Okay, so then get them all one layer and then throw them in the oven. Okay? So, so today is a special day. We need to stock up on baked goods. <laughs> we got to get everything baked today while it's... Cheeseburger rolls. Cheeseburger rolls. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stick these in the oven with my cookies. And mm, my cookies have just a few more minutes. About three more minutes. Can you, you have a lot of people reminding you. <laughs> three minutes. Remind me in three minutes. Let's see. So then that is what is going to be one of my side dishes for dinner. Then I'm going to make coleslaw again because I have this cabbage that I need to finish using up. <clears throat> now, I got this new handy dandy mandolin from Aldi on our trip and I've never used it before. So, but you know, hmm. oh, maybe you put it over the top like this. Is that what you do? Okay, so first of all, let's take out that blade. Was I yeah. supposed to do something with that here? Yeah, so Which one this one? is a similar one. That one. I can't really. Why? Because it would look better if you did. Well, it's kind of hard. Yeah, we did have a request for a birthday song. Okay, we'll do it in just a minute. Um, there. Okay, so let's see. I got that on. So now I have this on. Okay, so now this has some sort of protective covering thing. So I'm getting tired of whacking my knuckles on grater. So I was wondering if this would work better. I don't know. Maybe this is a really dumb idea. Um, okay. Well. You want me to oh, do it? have mercy. Okay. I got skills with a Z. No. The Aldi's one, do not spend... $2.98 on this thing at Aldi's. This is not worth the powder to blow it up. Okay, that was a frugal fail. <laughs> Donna says, careful as sharp. So now I'm just gonna do it the regular way. Well, that's disappointing. Man. Okay, well, it worked so much better. Yes, Jonathan. Okay, tell them about the um garage sale thing. You can. Tell them about the garage sale thing while I am. Jack, what is your Oh, first? people are saying, so, I can't. So. <laughs> Sue says, oh my goodness, I don't think I can watch. Yeah. Go ahead. So today, me and mom went garage selling, and I got a game called, um. Scrabble Sorry. Scrabble. No. no sorry. Isn't it? Or, I mean. No. Shakeable. Shake. Shakeable Sorry. Sorry. No, no. Shaken sorry. Shaken sorry. 
And Jamie says to for, take the cookies. For free, and we also oh, yeah. got a, a mini golf course for three dollars. Yep, so we went to a garage sale and they said, all the kids get two free toys. We were like, oh, thanks. Uh, the cookies are looking pretty brown. On this. So, I wasn't sure if that's... Um, wait, Jack, go. Uh, yeah, so he got a free, go. free sorry game, different kind of sorry game. And then he got mini golf and he's been playing, he's got mini golf set up in the living room. Can you turn the camera? So Homemade Home says would love for y'all to check my channel out on Southern Cooking Halls, etc. Cool. Okay. So I if you guys to... go to Aldi and you find this thingy a bopper, Do don't waste it. your money. Alright. Well, now we know. So then I'm just gonna add my sauce to this and I'm done. Then we're gonna have, the boys don't like coles. Oh, somebody's been eating the carrots. Well, this was full. Carrots and applesauce. And then look at this honkin' pepper. Sliced pepper with fajita chicken and that rounds out our dinner. $10. Uh, we have a cookie question, Amy. Yeah. Oh, cookie question, sorry. Um, Nicole was asking, can you use something else in place of the cream of tartar? No. Okay. Uh, not I that noticed, I know of. I noticed online a lot of people were checking that out or asking that same question. I don't think so. Okay, you're going to burn them. Actually, I'm getting them right now. <clears throat> and Sandra said, what happened? Just landed. Nothing happened. I am making... Just don't buy the Saldi's cutter. It's oh, yeah. No. They're just not quite done yet. So, one thing I keep forgetting... We're at high altitude and you need to add a quarter of a cup of flour if you're at high altitude. And I keep forgetting to do that so they take a little bit longer to cook. So, while we wait the last two minutes for them to cook, let's do our... Come here, Jack. Come here, Dave. We have two birthdays. Oh. Okay, hold on. We have to do our super special one first. Here, David? I'm, I'm throwing a bunch of hot birthdays in the chat. Get over here. No. You don't have to whisper. You can say it out loud. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ned. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mom! And while we have the candle lit. Hello! Okay, while we have the candle lit, who's the next Penny person? Penny says it's going to be my daughter Jennifer's birthday on Sunday. Would you mind singing happy birthday to her? I hope <laughs> she's on. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday, dear Jennifer. Jennifer. Happy, happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Woo! Yeah, happy Jennifer. birthday! Okay, Michael, blow up for you. <gasps> <sighs> <laughs> oh, Jamie's cupcake always smells so good. Um, yes, mom's birthday is today. I know we've been celebrating oh. for like a month. Did you see on the show it had been 70s here? Yeah. Because a lot of people are commenting, but Laura says you have to rub it in. It's 70s where you are. 70. I'm in Houston in your least 70. favorite state. See me so Glorious. This is why we don't want to leave Colorado, to be perfectly honest. But it was like 98 oh, yeah. or something the other day. It reached 101. I forgot. Oh, so Mom so told so me so. I... Mom got me this glove cutting thing and I haven't tried it yet. Should I put the... Should I get the knife and try it? Here. Gently... No, not like... Yeah, whatever. Here, I, I can test Ooh, it. Ooh, Jeannie Let said I picked it. zucchini and made a chocolate zucchini cake today. Ooh! Here, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Jen says hello from Wisconsin. Okay. Check the cookies. Um, whoa. Oh, Dana says she had the same one from Aldi and she says I love it and use it every day. Those look weird. Well, I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe but it's that operator greeter, malfunction. Obviously. What? <laughs> that greeter obviously doesn't work. Okay, so here is their golden loveliness. Oh, those look so delish. And all of my spatulas are in the dishwasher. Dave? Uh, well. Oh, Penny, okay. Penny G just joined in. Hello, Penny. So then you'll want to put these on a cooling rack. But, stand back, it's hot. I didn't get my cooling rack. Let's see, can I reach it? Oh, 
Oh dear, my cooling rack is gone. All right, so. It's in the soap room. <laughs> yeah, it's in my soap room. Okay. So here's the cooling rack. Can they see this? Careful, that is yeah. really. All right, there. And we just get them lovely. Yes. So wonder what the cream of tartar does to it. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. Makes it taste good. No. I don't know if it has to do with the leavening or what. Oops. Ah. Ow. Only tartar. Okay. So then. Oh, I'm making more. You just see how easy this goes. Then you're not rolling dough balls and making a huge mess and. Homestead Tessie says, not flesh and blood. God, it's so good. <laughs> you and the slicer. Thank you, Tessie. <laughs> you Hi, Karen. So well. Okay. Karen says hello from Iowa. My son is 18 today. Wow. Wow. It's funny how fast that goes. Okay, now I set the timer. Oops. All right. So you guys want to see my garage sale deals I got today? I'm right. rather proud of myself. So is that all the food you're gonna make right now? Yes. Or you make the chicken later. Uh, After the show. On in just a little bit. So, look <gasps> what I got today. Whoa! You got tons of candles. So, first of all, but they're not super smelly. They're not, but I'll tell you why. First of all, I got all these huggable hangers, you know, with the velvet on it so your sweaters don't fall off. Heidi Cunningham just joined. Hello, Heidi, Hi, our Heidi. friend from church. She was given all, they were moving, so I got all of these for free. And Not there's Heidi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, five, 9, six. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I think, if I remember right, these are like $10 for 10 at Walmart. I can't remember. Oh, those are the fancy ones. These are the fancy ones. So now I can finish my collection for free. So I got that for free. And you can re them if you wanted to. At the same garage sale, they had this cute little pet bucket. Now, I will be perfectly frank and say I have no idea what I'm doing with this cute little bucket, but I've never seen a bucket like this Put before. It on your and should we have them guess how much I paid for it? You guys aren't going to sure. believe how much I paid for it. Okay, so let's get some guesses and see if they can guess how much I paid for it. You paid nothing. Like an auction. Uh, oh. No, so you're wanting them actually type it in? Sure. We'll okay. see if anybody can guess how much I paid for it. Here, oh, it Donna says cream of tartar is what separates a tangy, chewy snickerdoodle from an ordinary cinnamon-coated sugar cookie. Oh! As it gives them their distinctive tangy flavor and the chew happens because cream of tartar prevents sugar from crystallizing into crunchiness. Oh man, it doesn't fit. I was hoping it would fit as like a helmet. <laughs> and all right, does anybody have any guesses on how much I paid for this? Uh, dollar fifty, twenty-five cents, twenty-five cents, five cents, twenty-five cents, three, three dollars, lots of quarters and dollar fifties and one 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 dollar. Wow. Okay, I'll tell you. Nobody guessed it right. Cents. 50 cents. No, there were a couple of people that said 15. Oh, on no. YouTube. Oh, dad was looking on Facebook. Sorry. 50 cents? Oh, yeah. 50 uh, cents? Is that not adorable? I don't know what I'm going to put that in. I'll have the first to. first person that said it was Amy Hubble. I'll have to put soap or something in there. Oh! Oh! That's what I'll do. Okay, so I just figured out what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put it on the back of my toilet <laughs> and replace the little white basket that I have with soap and put my. I put all the leftover soaps, the broken pieces and all that for the kids to use. And that all goes in here. That's what I'm doing. I think that's brilliant. Oh, Candy said she had those kinds of hangers and she loves them. Yeah, I really like them. Mom got me turned on to those. She got me some for Christmas one time. Okay, so then my candles. I went to another garage sale. The Did one... You, were you keeping track of who got no. that right? Okay. And then... Amy um, who got it right first? The garage sale, well, Jack got his mini golf. She had this bucket of candles sitting out there. And I was like, well, how much do you want for your candles? Like, most of them aren't even used. 
She said, oh, that whole bucket's free. <laughs> free? I got it all for free. Because they weren't smelling. Yeah. So now, what am I going to do with these? Well, originally, I thought I might... You're going to make melted pour candles. Yes. I thought I might re-melt them and make them into candles, but I think what I'm going to save them for is in emergency candles. Oh, okay. They're already made. They're big, so I'm going to put this in our emergency stash so that when the power goes out, we will be able to see each other. So how do they... And how long do they last? Oh, oh, this would probably yeah. last... Well, we've got plenty then. That's a good thing. <laughs> this would probably last a good eight hours. Oh, sorry, I have to interrupt. Turid says, I have a happy, I am a happy mother to a new chef today. He had his test today, and now he's a real chef. Ooh. And you're going to want to know, she also said a little later, we just came in, we have mid, we had midsummer campfire. Today, it's not going to be dark outside at all. Turid's in Norway. Oh my goodness. So. I remember that when I was in Finland, we went to Finland for midsummer. I was going to be an exchange student in Sweden. And the family I was with, the, the lady was from Finland, and she, uh, so we went up there for midsummer, and we it stayed up, yep, it was up all night long. Oh, we had a couple other things. Mother Many Horses said, I find your live streams very relaxing. Thank you. Well, thank you. And Sandra's homespun life said, I ordered your Dining and Dime cookbook today. Can't wait to get it. Well, thank you. I hope you find them relaxing and, unless Tara's smacking the table. And Tona all says, right. I... You need to get a KitchenAid mixer. Your life will change. Those cookies will be even yummier. Well, she said after 22 years of marriage, I finally got one, and it's incredible. Honestly, I have a KitchenAid mixer. It's nice, but I don't really like it that well. You just don't like to have to clean it, right? Well, what I don't like about it is I don't have a place to put it. In the, in the four or five houses that we've lived at, I have not found one house... I can't, I don't have countertop to, David, <sighs> he's back here eating the maple syrup uh, with a spoon. Oh, and that's the real maple syrup. Um, don't get to that on the tech equipment, Dave. I like it, but if, but I don't keep it on the counter. I don't have a place to keep it on the counter. And lifting that heavy thing up and down out of the cabinet, it's just a pain in the rear. So now it's been sitting at mom's house for like two years because she uses it for gingerbread men. So. Oh, Patricia said uh, about the potatoes, you could do those on the grill and foil packets. That would be really yummy. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. And also, can I, uh, Pamela was asking on the sugar, cookie, on the cookies. She says, cutting down on my sugar. Is there a low fat recipe? I think she means like low calories. But is there uh, probably, I think you can use Splenda. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why you couldn't use Splenda. They say you can use Splenda for baking, so you might try it. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah. Connie says if you put a candle in the fridge before you use it, it will last longer. Yeah, that's what they say. We should try that experiment and see if it's really true or not. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. Cammy says emergency candles is a great idea. Well, you know, we live in Colorado, and our power doesn't go out near as much as it did in Kansas. But it's still, you know, one time they were out for good. It was like 10 days or something. One time they had a really bad, bad blizzard. So... Uh. Oh, no. I'm not a prepper, but I am prepared. That's my new saying. <laughs> yep. I like that. Prepper, I am prepared. Okay, whatever. I got that today after watching Big Family Homesteads. Is that what they said? No, they they're were preppers. <laughs> they were asking if they said that people always ask if they're preppers, and so they were asking our opinion, and I just came up with that off the top of my brain. All right. Isn't that brilliant of me? So this is soap that I messed up on. And I added way too much oil, and it's been curing for about six months. And you can see that I'm still able to cut it. It's really soft. But I'm using, BJ's using it. He likes it really well because he has eczema. And so I'm getting it cut up so it can finish curing for him and get a harder bar. And that's what this is. Denise said you struck it good today with your deals. I did, didn't I? Tomorrow is our town's garage sale day. <gasps> I think I should. Li I think Jamie and I might, may need to live stream after we go garage and selling. Tomorrow is the hot air balloon festival oh, yeah. thing. Um, 
I don't know. I feel the garage sale vibes coming towards me. Mom, tomorrow is also the Dakota or wherever hot air balloon thing. Don't yeah. Forget. Ellie might go to the hot air balloon. Well, that's kind of a large bar, but that's all right. <laughs> and Jack. Yep. They were supposed to go this morning, but it rained. So. Well, Susie wants to know if you're going to do the chicken today too on the show. Yeah. I mean, I will. I'll probably put it in like two minutes here. Oh, Steven right. wants to know, did you set the timer on my batch of cookies? <laughs> Am I supposed to mail them to you? All right, since this soap is so ridiculously soft, I'm just taking the rest of the pieces and pushing it on. And go ahead, you can try a bite. Ooh. Tell me how delicious they are, and if I forgot anything in them, don't tell the world. Mm. Here, Jack, you want to try one? Sure. So much yummier than I even remembered. Right there. Right here? Mm hmm Anyone? Here, guys. Take a bite. <laughs> what do you think, Jack? He's like, dude, what is that? He's never had a snickerdoodle. Aren't they yummy and crunchy and stuff? It's good. <laughs> Yay. Took a minute to think about it, but it's good. Yay. Well, sorry, Sandra, if I tempted you there. Hope your coffee is coming in. <laughs> Lead her not into temptation. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm hmm mm Save one for Jamie, by the way. Don't forget. I will save Jamie several. Oh, Katie Jo's right. She said that that soap looks like a big block of cheese. Oh, it does. And Denise said the same thing. <laughs> That's funny. Janine is asking, did Ellie get her contacts? And how's BJ doing with his? He loves them. BJ loves them. Ellie finally got them in Wednesday. Check the oven. But she hasn't worn them since. Yeah. Mom, check the oven. So, we'll see. Um, just one second longer. <laughs> So we'll see. Okay, check so out. Rebecca said thanks for the bite of the cookie, and Denise said that was good, Mike, and no calories. <laughs> uh, oh, Jean's asking, are you making soap? I have books on my Kindle but never made any. Is it easy? It's not hard. You need to be prepared and follow the directions correctly, but it's not really hard. Um... You may need to practice a batch or two to really get down the technique and you'll probably have a couple of filled batches just because everybody usually does, but it's not really difficult. I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just one of those things like kind of like baking where if you haven't ever done it before, you've never made homemade brownies or homemade cake, you need to try it a time or two before they turned out really perfect. So. But a lot of people make soap and it turns out the very first time, so. I think these are done. Uh oh, you're talking about Colby. Your mom said I, somebody must know where Colby is. Cause your mom says I do know where Colby is and I've broken down there before. <laughs> what Jill's not saying is she's broken down just about every town between Denver and Wichita. Wichita. <laughs> At some time or other. Oh, Brenda says I bought your books for ten dollars a day. Y'all were in the hospital. Uh, I thought she meant the new one. Was that the other one, right? Yeah. Um, Brenda, they should come like right away. So if they didn't, uh, email us and I will send you. They come in the confirmation email. Um, I will try to check based on just your name in the comment, but if you could just email us, um. You can go to livingonadime.com <clears throat> and go to our contact form. That way I can take a look in case for some reason they don't get the... Um, here, I'm sharing that right now, the contact form info. Yeah, those ebooks generally come right away. I thought you meant that there's another one we're doing, the grocery... Yeah, our how to save money on groceries. And that one's a pre-sale, so that one won't actually come until July yeah, 3rd. Yeah, that's a pre-sale. It's on sale now. We have, we have, uh, how many eBooks is in that course? I can't remember. 
So our How to Save on Groceries has like six or so ebooks, somewhere around there, six or seven ebooks, eight I'll share e the link so you can go check it out if you want. And we have 10 videos that are with it. And then I'll go with myself. And it's on half price until June, July 3rd. It's seven ebooks plus 10 videos. So our How to Save on Groceries course is... Well, it's not half price. Or 40% off, excuse me. That one's 40% off. Yeah. There is Ellie. Uh, Ellie's here. So you want to parkour? Seems like you're always doing that on the show now. Are you putting on your contacts? Everyone wants to know how the contacts Whoa. are going. Oh, I totally forgot about them yesterday. Are you putting them on? <laughs> Tori said you should set the timer. Okay, let's see. Ellie's going to see if she can get them put in, and if she does, she'll come show everybody. No guarantees, though. Probably take a few days. So while we're waiting for the, oh, while we're waiting for those, I'm gonna cut my other soap. So I don't know if you guys remember before we left, I had two major soap fails. The one I posted on um, my How to Make Soap channel, which you can put the link up for that if you don't mind. Sure. This is the rebatch of it. Now this one is pine cone and lime. And it smells really good. It was a really pretty soap with a gun on it. I was very disappointed. Now this one here. Why were you disappointed? This is Supernova. Oh, you were disappointed Wait. because it broke. Yeah. This, I don't know that I could have ruined this batch more, but I was grating it up it and I now? sliced my finger. So I got blood all over it. Then I took it out of the Set mold the and blood. then I took it out of the mold and it was so wet I set it on top of my wood mold and it got the wood color soaked into it. Well, so Mike's cool. gonna be smelling real good. <laughs> but that's okay. So these are my two fails. Fail. But they smell really oh. good, so it's gonna be for us. These are probably gonna have to cure another three Wait. months probably because they're super wet i added a ton of water when i rebatched them so phyllis wants to know do you do a lot of baking for the kids or is it a treat oh, man, um, they're so good no it's it's more of a treat because she makes us usually fend for ourselves no so then we can, she makes us like eat she makes food. you a lot of baked stuff although not so much like we that. bake about two to three times a week not very much ellie mm -hmm. has taken over more of the baking so she is doing more of that now, but, um, well that turned out pretty cool. Um, so Ellie is doing more of the baking now than I am. So you can see this was flat on top and it's, as it's drying out, you can see how it's shrunk. It's kind of funny. Ooh, Amy T is asking, does Ellie parkour in a group or by herself? She's a group. She's going with a group. It's people she doesn't know real well, but she's kind of getting to know them. Yes. Um, sorry. Uh, Heather was asking, how many kids do we have? We have five, Heather. We have five too many. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm We have joking. five from age 19 I'm to age eight. Just joking. Just joking. Um, we have four teenagers. And then this cute little thing right here. Ew. And yeah, we have a here. 19, two 18s, a, what are you now, Dave? 14, 14. and an 8. That uh, turned out pretty good. See, it's supernova, so it looks like a moon crater. Oh, yeah, it does. See, and then you'll smell good. That's called a meteor crater. <sighs> Doesn't that smell good? It does. Uh, Liz wants to know, do you, she says, I, I think she's asking, do you put a dollar limit on your garage sales? No. Just, I mean, I don't, although I will say, Someone to someone, I don't know who it is, they've been doing it anonymously, but I would like to thank whoever it is from Illinois that has sent me a little moolah for garage selling the last, I've gotten a few of those. Oh, thank that's you. Really sweet. I really appreciate it. Usually I don't spend at garage sales. Mm. I Very usually much. don't spend more than about five or six dollars at garage sales. I really don't, unless we have moved. Now, after we move, I hit garage sales to look for furniture and stuff like that. But once we're settled into a new house, usually 
I don't usually spend more than five, six dollars. It's rare that I spend ten or twenty dollars. I really don't spend that much. But um, we, what I do is I don't have a spending limit on how much I spend. But what I do do is like I know how much I'll pay for something. So like I won't pay more than a dollar for a large paperback or a hardback book. Or I won't pay more than 25 cents for kids books. I won't pay more than about a dollar for a shirt. I won't pay more than about two or three dollars for pants or jeans if they're in really super good condition. For the kids, I try to, for the kids that are like 12 and under, I try to never pay more than a dollar for any of their pants, shoes, anything like that. Shirts, usually 25 to 50 cents. Um, let's see, what else do I buy at yard sales a lot? Things for the house, it just depends on what it is. Whoa, that's cool. As a rule of thumb, for large items, I try to pay 25 to 30% or less, depending on if it's like a brand new couch or whatever. I'll pay 25 to 30% of what I believe is retail price, or if they tell me what the retail price is. New, or I mean, clothes and stuff like that, I try to never pay more than 10% of retail, if that gives you an idea. Yes. Um, base has ocean wave soap. Oh yeah, it could be. Ha, <laughs> that's yeah, true. Yeah, it does kind of look like that. Well, since I bled all over this one, I won't be, I won't be selling this one, obviously. That video is coming up soon. I need to get it edited, but. So Denise wants to know what your shirt says, Dave. Put down that syrup and come over here. Oh Stop yeah. Stop drinking syrup out of the bottle, boy. Oh, boy, Dave. mom and dad are too far away to. But it's perfect. I'm being a bee. So it's being, like a being a bee, and this but is my pollen. Come show them your shirt. Denise Hold wants up, to know. Put this in the fridge so it doesn't get warm. Come show Denise your shirt. She wants to see what it says. Zombies eat brains. Looks like you'll be safe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they love those <laughs> <laughs> silly middle slash high school humor, right? Yeah. Ooh, who's oh. making coffee cake? Just like the oh, I didn't see that. that. Where? Laurel. Ooh, we're going to bake your coffee cake this week. That oh, is so good. Yeah, Angela, all our houses I furnish with garage sales. Um, our first house, I spent $200 for everything. Bed, dresser, couch, end tables, all my dishes, all my um, utensils for the kitchen, cookware, bakeware, everything I needed. It was like $200 for my first house. But I will say, yeah, we have more kids and we need more big ticket items like more beds and stuff like that. Um, I still, I won't spend usually more than $25 for a bed. A dresser, I would probably spend about $25 in really good condition. If it's not in good condition and I need to paint it or something, I'll spend 5 or $10. Couch, I'll spend up to $100 on a couch if it looks brand spanking new. Most of our couches have not though. They've been free or like 10 or $20. And they weren't perfect new, but with five kids, I don't want a new couch. As a matter of fact, we bought a new couch for the last one and I'm kind of disappointed in it, I will be honest, because it's okay, but I know it's not gonna last very long. And so I would prefer to buy my furniture from yard sales and stuff. But our last couch, what happened was, we had gotten the previous couch at a garage sale for free. It was the end of the day. The people were moving and they just wanted it gone. So I went ahead and took it. I loved the couch, but it fell apart after about three or four years. Finally, literally just was falling apart. And I had to have a new one. We were in a huge court case with Mike's parents at the time. And Emily, had, our niece, had just come to live with us. Her dad had just died. And we had this huge court case that his parents were bringing against us. And so I just, we needed a couch. We just, we really needed a couch. So I did go to the store and just buy that one for $200. And I'm kind of disappointed. I wish I could have found one at a garage sale. But I, at that time in our lives, we had so much going on. I just couldn't spend, a, you know, time going to garage sales and stuff. So... So Dave, Jeannie says, you made my husband laugh out loud with your ah. shirt saying... <laughs> 
Um, okay, so we had a bunch of questions about the deals. Middle school humor. Pa Patricia said, have you done videos going garage sailing? I saw a YouTube video last night where a lady actually filmed going to sales. Uh, well, actually only one did we actually do the garage sale. Well, we haven't actually filmed. Did you not get them in? Well, are you going to keep trying? Well, you got to keep trying. got to slap the table. I didn't Get pay together, for contacts really? for you not to put them in. Um, Get well, maybe together. tomorrow if Jamie's going Wait, with me. <laughs> if Jamie's going with me, maybe we could film going to garage sales. I don't know. Yeah, we might be able to do that. We'll see. Maybe we'll try to do that tomorrow. I always film my deals afterwards. And I did do one where I was bartering with my neighbors, and we showed that. So. Denise said I bought two milk candy glass. Two milk glass candy dishes. A cute rocking chair, little wood rocking chair, all for eight dollars. Ooh, very and good. And Julie's asking, what was your best garage sale find ever? Oh man, ever? There's been so many great ones. Yeah. Um. <laughs> when you bought that paste jewelry and it turned out to be the royal jewels. Oh whatever. <laughs> Just kidding. Ever, my best garage. I don't know. I have so many. So I'll tell you our best dumpster dive ever, though. Do you know which one it is? Mm, I'm not sure. So, so many. It's hard to when keep When we were in Idaho, I was pregnant with our first, and Mike was making six. No, Mike had gotten laid oh, off. Oh, right, right. I know which one you're going to talk about. Mike had gotten laid off, and um, so he, he, we got to go on dumpster diving down our town had a big dumpster where everybody could dump stuff and he was always bringing home stuff when he would go take stuff down there and what what did you bring find, it home? i kept finding new things in the mm -hmm. dumpster um did you bring it home yeah okay so one day he brought this rocker a glider rocker brand new <laughs> brand spanking new the only thing wrong was it was missing a nut to hold one of the screws in place we spent 40 cents on a nut to fix it we used it for two or three years with two babies before we moved, and we sold it at a garage sale for 40 bucks. Ah! That was pretty good. Well, what's funny in that town is we discovered the dumpsters. We were throwing things away, and people people in the town, oh, well, then we, I started noticing things like in packages that weren't even open. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to take this home. And after a while, people in the town were, or some of the people in the town were saying, you take stuff out of the dumpster? I was thinking, it's still in the package. Come on, it's not food. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. But the funny but thing is, some... those people then, later on, we had a garage yeah. sale and we put all of it out on the curb. And they bought it. They bought it. Um, yes. Um, 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 um. Jamie says last weekend was pretty epic, Tara. Best oh, man. Jamie and I went to go garage selling last week, and there was only two garage sales. Excuse me. Sophie's mom says try putting in the contacts so that look in the mirror. That's how I got used to it, she said. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got it once. I just like, the past two days I've lost my drive. To well, drive. find it again. But it was... Uh, Get them in tonight. Oh. Get them in. I'm not sure what uh, my 472 Pickers is saying. It's saying living on a dime you got and sold on... I have Etsy no shop? idea. I'm not sure. I wonder if that means are you selling your stuff on the Etsy shop right now? Mm. Oh, Homestead Remembrance wants to know if we've been on a Taco Bell date night in a while. Uh, yeah, three days ago. Well, we could still do that tonight if you want. I have a delicious dinner <laughs> Oh, no, dinner I forgot. We have, no, tomorrow. What? Did That's right. I forgot you have a super delicious did... dinner. I don't want to miss you, that. I, I, I don't want to eat. I want to miss that. Uh, oh, we had some other stuff here. Uh, yes, contact video round two. Amy, Ellie can't get them in now. EJ couldn't get them out on Monday, and now Ellie can't get them in. Well, it seems like getting them out should have been easier, but I don't know. Joanne said, my best yard sale find a $5 painting. It's worth one a thousand of $1,500. <gasps> wow. Yeah, that's a good deal. That's a better deal than I think we've gotten. I will say, on probably 90% of my garage sale stuff, I have resold it at my garage, so I got my money back. <laughs> what did you want to tell him, Jack? So, guess what my favorite um, dumpster, well, there was really only one. 
But um, guess what? My favorite thing that I got at the dumpster dive was what? It was that speaker. That huge stereo speaker. Yeah. Yep. You I like mean, it, huh? I mean, it, it makes is your game really sound good. Cool. It it, good. it is really awesome. Good. Uh, oops, sorry. And we got Phyllis. it for free. That's awesome. Mm. Phyllis is asking what's for dinner tonight. So I'm having fajita chicken with Ew. coleslaw and Ew. potatoes and applesauce. Ew. Brenda says here in Arkansas you get caught dumpster diving, you go to jail, finds it's against the law here. You know, we've always been careful to make sure it's not against the law wherever we yeah. are. But it's you know, we don't just go to random people's dumpsters. No. They have to be kind of public or we have to have permission. We don't just yeah or like when they were building the houses here we asked permission and the guy was like sure take it that's less that we have to pay for to get rid of because apparently they they pay by the pound yeah so and we got, we got a lot of stuff well to put it in perspective if you go to youtube and look on our shed how we built our shed it's a really nice shed we almost our shed was almost free i think we had to pay 200 dollars for shingles and siding but how big is it? 15 by 12? It's 12 by 10. 12 by 10. A cheap one at... $4,500 at Home Depot. A cheap one at Home Depot, one. but this is like, this has got double the, the dumpster quality than that one. Yeah. And it's on a big, it's on a really <gasps> thick concrete foundation too. Yeah. Jamie said my son loves dumpster diving. He's found a computer that works great in several Xbox 360s. <gasps> Look what I just did. He spilled the fajita seasoning. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, no. and... uh, <gasps> Sandra's homespun life said my husband found about 25 jalapeno plants thrown in the dumpster. He brought them home wow. and planted them. Wait. You know, we I don't know if we've done that in the dumpster, but a couple years ago, Tara found plants at Walmart for a penny each, and she got like, I don't know, a thousand three, of them or something. So three years ago, uh, we... I found Walmart was getting rid of their plants for a penny each. And they were huge planters. The planter was like this tall and this big. It had the plants, the planter, everything included for a penny. And I got, was it three or four pickup loads? I don't remember. I got three or four pickup loads. Four. And four, it was four. Because you made me work. Because I made Dave unload them. So and that, was, that was probably my best deal ever. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have some other stuff here. Brandy says, I've been scoring free stuff on Estes Park for sale pages today. Got a rollaway bed and two nice nightstands. Ooh, good job. And Debbie said, love your kitchen and your nice family and your videos. Well, thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Wait, who lives up did, in the mountains? Did we uh, address it? Uh, Brandy. Brenda. Brandy. Brandy. Uh, Paige is asking, where did David's glasses go? Uh, they're on the counter. He just didn't put them on today. So I don't, I don't really like they're them. They're not really, really strong prescriptions, so sometimes he wears them and sometimes he doesn't. Although, yeah. you can't see the stars at night very clearly without them, right? And no. stuff like that. And Joanne says, I was looking at Living on a Dime's Pinterest boards today. Lots of great pins. Thank Ooh. you. I can see them, but they're just... Yeah, we have a pretty good stars. Pinterest page, actually. I never talk about it, but we do have a really good Pinterest page. Michael put the link on here for you. Uh, how many people do we have on our Pinterest page now? Uh, guys, so here's another thing. We are almost to 50,000 subscribers. When we get there, on Mom, YouTube. on YouTube, if you subscribe, you're signed up for a giveaway to rent an apron that Mom handmade. And it's in the other room, so I didn't bring it here. But... Um, Wait, you guys can actually tell oh, you these. gotta be kidding right. me. This is in Wichita. In Wichita? L Lid, uh, Ladera oh. was saying that the, you have to have a permit to have a garage sale in Wichita, and that is true, because we used to live there too. She said last year a child got fined $500 because they were in lemonade stand without a permit. What? I hate how, to, how they try to squeeze money from you for everything. Oh, yeah, that's that silly. The reason why they, I think they do that because they want you to collect sales tax at your garage sale, which is really oh, stupid. <laughs> so, oh, it's not like you is... didn't pay sales tax when you bought the item. Oh, oh, good grief. Mm. That poor kid. What was I talking about before I got all distracted? Oh, so we're almost to 500 or to 50,000 subscribers. 
So as soon as we hit 50,000, we're doing a giveaway. Do you think we can do it before my birthday? Sue says we all want the apron. I uh, know. I don't know if we'll get there by my birthday. I hope. So here's the deal. If we get it by my now? birthday, 47 or 48. If we get it by my birthday, I'll give away a book or two also. Is YouTube still canceling people off? 40, yeah. 48,363. So first of all, make sure you're subscribed because YouTube has been just canceling <gasps> people randomly. We have 130,000 followers on Pinterest. I know. I, I shared that link for you guys uh, if you want to check it out. I know. So, Isn't that crazy? Uh, so go subscribe on our YouTube channel because if you do, you'll be you'll be automatically entered for our giveaway. Yay. So. Um, oh, let's see. Looking for things. Oh, are there still cookies in there? No. I'm just saying check them. Okay. I'm done. I got the cookies finished. Uh, They're really good. Patricia, All the kids say they were really good. Here, would you come tell everyone, please? Pretty good. So Especially when they're warm. You've yeah. never had these, have you? Because I've never made these for you. Wendy says we don't have dumpsters mm -hmm. here. Where do you live, Wendy? Hmm. Yeah, maybe made them, but I haven't. Actually, hmm. Uh, oh. Mary Ellis says, if I have something I no longer need, we put it in front of the driveway with a free sign on it. It hardly ever lasts 15 to 20 minutes gone. Oh, oh tell this, your story. I was going to say, when we were in Wichita, uh, Tara's brother, David, lived uh, kind of downtown. And we put this old chair out and we put a sign on it that said free. And it was like four days. It just sat there and nobody took it. So somebody, I don't remember why, but somebody said, oh. I did. Tara said, I don't think that should be free. I think I can get money for that. So we put a sign on it that said like $5. And the next day it was just gone. It was just funny. Like when it's free, you won't take it. But when it looks like you have to pay for it, then you'll steal it. It's so Not hilarious. Funny. So. Wait, they stole it? Without paying the mm -hmm. money? Oh. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what Dave was talking about, but Anjanette says my 15-year-old son Mike does the same thing, Dave. Not sure what it was that you were talking about. Jennifer, can we start over? She missed it. Ha! Huh? Oh, sorry you missed the first hour. Oh, and somebody else asked, um, somebody else asked what time we're on Central. So we're 4.30 Mountain, which is 5.30 Central, Central, and 6.30 Eastern. And 3.30 Pacific. And? And in Maine, we're on at 7.30. What? Is that a different you know time that zone? In that one little section of Maine, a different time zone, I think. I think it I is. I didn't know that. Cindy says, so. cycling and watching you all is how I'm spending my Friday night. Whoa. Thank you, Cindy. I hope that's cycling on a So how do we take <laughs> this? So we got the comment on YouTube the other day, and I know she was mean at well. I just thought it was funny. Oh, I just love your shows. They always make me fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people are saying they're relaxing, so that's good. That's what she said. She said, it's really relaxing, and you guys have me laughing, and I fall asleep and have good dreams. <laughs> So Laura is asking, uh, says, I haven't been on for a while. How's your son doing now? Is everything okay? So he does not have Lyme disease. Um, he has, it's not really a sickness at all, but it's a sleep issue that he, they told him, they gave him some specific instructions to kind of try to get his, it's, his sleep clock is off. It's like having um, jet lag all the time. So he's improving some on the schedule they're on, not as like as much as he would like to, but... Um, he is getting better uh, a little at a time. Enough now where he's been out looking for jobs and stuff. We've now, been so. swimming with him. And Jeanette, how, swimming. and Jeanette, how long have you had your cookbook? If it's less than a year, I'll, I'll send you a new one. She said, I've noticed some oily pages. Hmm. Uh, it may have been a manufacturing defect. Uh, Danielle says, my mom put my childhood dollhouse into the driveway and it was gone in five minutes. And it was her dollhouse house as a kid too. But she wow. wasn't as attached to it as I was. And by the time I realized she put it out, it was gone. Aww. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. Let's see. That's such good news. Thank you, Laura. Yes, it is. Ramona, you're late. We're just now about done. I'm so sorry. We're just looking at the last of the comments. I'm sorry, Ramona. I almost sprayed my monitor with coffee over that comment. Which comment? Was that the, we put a $5 sign on the... Yeah, probably. Um, huh. Let's see. 
Stella <laughs> says I wake her up when I start slapping the counter. Get it together, people. She hasn't done it today. <laughs> um, Jamie's asking if it's Saturday for Amy T. Yes, Amy is in Australia. And, and Amy, can you remind me? Are you you're on the Melbourne side, aren't you? Or are you you're not on the Sydney side, right? Um, I couldn't remember for sure. I don't know. We talked about making some T-shirts and aprons, but I don't know. We're trying oh, to decide. Yeah. Sue says that if you're in the UK, it's 11.30 p.m. at night. And we very much appreciate all Thank of you, you for Sue. joining us there. And I, I can't wait to see you! When is she coming? Like in 10 days or something. Woohoo, Sue! It'll be great to see you again. It's been like almost two months. I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, this soap is Supernova. This soap is pine cone and lime. They're rebatches of two mistakes that I made. So that's what I was cutting today. <laughs> uh, yep. All right. Well, I we can stay on a little longer if you want, but oh, Katie, okay, just as my dogs barked when you hit the counter. Oh, sorry. Uh, did you get my emails regarding gnomes under attack? Yeah, I responded to you with the ones with the bear. That was hilarious. I sent you an email back. Check your spam filter, baby. That was <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Oh, so, lots of likes and loves. Yay. Well, guys, please visit our website. Check out our How to Save on Groceries course. It's 40% off until June, July 3rd. I can't believe we're almost to July. Hopefully. 30% off. So far, we're making good progress on it. It's going to be done July 1st. Okay. Is when it's released, but we're giving you guys until July 3rd because I know some people get paid on the 3rd and they want to wait until they get paid and that's totally understandable so oh julie said don't forget your chicken on the stove yeah it's okay thank you <laughs> well cool all uh, right guys yeah we hope you have an awesome weekend we don't have any particular plans do we tomorrow is garage sale day yeah tar's gonna go garage sailing and mike's gonna try to organize jamie life. and i are finding some deals some good deals. I'm not yeah, sure yeah. what for, but... Aw, uh, Connie says, I love the slapping on the counter. Love you. <laughs> Thanks. All, All right. right, guys. We'll see you later. Have a good... What? Day night? Or night? Good or weekend. Morning if you're in Australia. Yeah. We will see you guys on Monday. And next week, I am talking about how to feed oh. six people for $150 for the whole month. <laughs> month. What? I got it, Amy, on the Perth side. I'll oh, have, but mom, I'll have to, how close are you to there? I'm just curious. Well, okay. You count electric bill and the water bill and the no groceries <laughs> for a month. All <laughs> right. Well, you guys have an awesome weekend. Good night and good morning. <laughs> yeah, hold up, hold up. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye, Facebook. Wait, wait. Oh, is it not? Okay. Bye. <laughs> Facebook's gone. Bye, YouTube. YouTube is...